Hey ladies, welcome back to my brand new channel for Grown Women Only. I'm your host, Nikki, and on this show we talk about love, life lessons, and leveling up, leveling up, leveling up. It is 2020, ladies, so I want you to be on 20. I want you to start going after what you want. I want you to start becoming the person you want to be. I don't want you to sit on the sidelines of your life and watch everybody else achieve, because the same thing they have is the same thing that you have. So ladies, I want to talk about feminine power really quick and how to harness your feminine power, your feminine energy, because I keep hearing from women all the time, all the good men are gone, um, men just want to play games, there are no good men left, um, men don't want what women want, they don't want relationships, things like that. Ladies, that is not true. I really believe that your vibe attracts your tribe. And when you keep saying these things because your mouth is powerful, and when you keep believing and feeling these things, you then attract these things. So ladies, we're going to talk about harnessing uh, feminine energy and how you can get what you want because you are simply a woman, right? There is a divine spirit, a divine uniqueness about being a woman. There just is. It's like when you were born and the doctor smacked you on your ass and said, it's a girl. You had everything that you needed to um, go forth in this life. But a lot of times women aren't taught that and they are taught not to rely on a man, not to need a man. And when you start doing very manly things, you take on very manly traits and you become masculine. And there can only be a yin and a yang, a feminine and a masculine. And it doesn't really work especially for alpha men, high value men, or men of substance, right? Competent men. It just doesn't work. So ladies, there are a couple things I believe that you can do to harness your feminine energy. And most of them begin with S. But what I want to talk about is making sure you vet these men. And I'll talk about that in videos as well, because there are so many examples, be it Bible related, be it um, just from different things that we've seen throughout history, how women vet men. And feminine energy attracts a lot of things. So sometimes you have to weed out what you do and do not want. It's contrast, right? Um, and when you have something that you don't want and you don't like, you just drop it, right? Because it allows you to make a much conscious decision. You don't go into a relationship with your eyes closed. So when we talk about feminine energy, just know, ladies, that sometimes fuck boys will be attracted to you too, but you have to uh, understand that there are certain qualities with certain types of men. And these men you can weed out through doing a bunch of different things if you're looking for a quality guy. So the first thing I wanna talk about is how you vet a guy and you know just really quickly if a guy is serious, right? So I firmly believe that before God gave Adam Eve, he gave Adam a job, right? He gave him dominion, he gave him power, he gave him a job, he gave him the wherewithal and the means to support a family. That's very important. Um, a lot of times, guys want everything and they don't want to give you anything. And I'm not talking about sex because sex for a man is simple. It's it's It doesn't require anything. It's not an emotional attachment. It doesn't require a resource. More for women, I'm sorry, more for men, it's an outlet, right? So it doesn't require anything for a guy to give you sex. We're not talking about sex. We're talking about resources, right? And as a lady, it is your divine right to know that if a man wants to sit in your company or if a man wants to be with you, then he needs to provide for you, right? Because the thing is, there's something that has been built within us that when a, can't, a man can't provide for us or nurture us or love us or give us what we need, that it kind of shuts us down. And a lot of times, women try to draw this out of men by, in turn, giving to them and begging. And whenever you try to earn or make effort that is very masculine, it is chasing. Men chase. Um, women do not chase. Women have to understand that our position is to sit back and to receive. Men are givers. Women are receivers. Men insert their penis into you. They are giving you something. Men ejaculate within you. They are giving you something. Men penetrate you. They give you something. Men give you a seed which may form a child. Men give you things, right? Don't ever allow these men to trick you into giving them anything. You don't build men. You don't give men anything. And a man needs to be in a particular spot or place or be getting himself together in order to date or court, right? So if a man doesn't have any money, that is an automatic no-no. If a man is stingy, that is an automatic no-no. If a man is not generous, that is an automatic no-no. Ladies, just know, right, that when a man asks you out on a date, there is no 50-50. 
He is asking you out and it takes us time, effort. I mean, women cost, women are expensive. You know, our hair, our makeup, our nails, our skin, looking pretty, keeping your teeth straight. Like all this kind of stuff is money. And men need to understand that we as women invest a lot within ourselves. So why would I allow a man to not invest anything? And sex is easy for a man. It doesn't require anything. Sex is a natural energy. Don't allow these men to fool you and say, oh, we're grown. You want it like I want it. Um, let's just go ahead and do it. That is the biggest con ever. No, women aren't built that way. And if you think about it, women only become attached emotionally, which allows them to give themselves sexually when they feel safe, right? Stop giving yourself, especially your body, to men who don't make you feel safe, who don't invest in you, who don't nurture you, who don't love you, who are not coming from a good, solid place. So now that we've gotten that out the way, let's talk about three ways that you can harness your feminine energy. Because sirens have been um, known throughout history. There's Samson and Delilah. There is Bathsheba and David. There is... um, Oh my gosh, let's talk about Dorothy Dandridge. Let's talk about Marilyn Monroe. Let's talk about the Queen of Sheba and Solomon. Sirens have been known throughout history, right? Because women have this power. It's this innate thing. And if you can harness it, it is a powerful, magnificent thing, right? So when we talk about feminine energy, let's talk about being sexy. Let's talk about being sensual. Let's talk about being soft, Now, sexy is many things. To me, more than anything, sexy is a vibe. I'm sitting here with very little makeup. Um, This is my skin. I take good care of my skin. I am sitting here um, knowing that I've done the work, that my vibe has attracted my tribe. Like I put out a beacon that tells men that I am ready for relationship, that I am loving, that I am sweet, that I am kind. We know that men are visual creatures before they're anything. I keep myself together. I exercise. I take care of my skin. I go to the dentist. I invest in myself, my hands, my feet, my nails. I present myself in a certain way, not for just a man, but for myself. I invest in myself. And when you invest in yourself, a man in turn want to invest in you as well. Um, Your sexy needs to be something that you imprint on a man's brain. And the things that imprint are when you evoke senses. So let's talk about touch. Let's talk about sight. Let's talk about smell. Let's talk about hearing. The way you talk to a man, the way you communicate to a man, the reflection in your voice, how you draw out certain words, how you look at him. He's already visually pleased with you, but when you are intense and you focus your energy on him, he can feel that thing when you touch him and you're interested in him and you can flirt, you know, touch him lightly, rub your body against him. I mean, it drives men wild. The the, the smell of you. A man needs to know that you have a signature fragrance. When he smells that fragrance, he automatically thinks of you. I have three. One of them is Flower Bomb. That's my, I'm feeling sexy tonight. I have something called Clementine, which is a light, fresh scent that I wear in the office. And then if I'm really trying to bring out my, my big guns and I'm ringing the dinner bell, like come and get it, I wear Dior, right? So when men smell me, they know, oh my God, that's Nikki. I smell her. Um, She's evoking something in me. And when I'm touching him and I'm talking to him in a certain way and I'm stroking his ego and I'm letting him know that right now you are the center of my attention. I'm focused on you. Think about it. Men can't get enough because men are required to be hard and rugged and domineering just to get the basic things they need in life. So we need to understand as women that our sexy is important. I'm a strong 12. I am curvy as hell. And not every man's going to want me. Like, let's be honest. Like, not every man's going to want a girl who's a 10 or a 12. But the thing is, a man who wants a 10 or a 12, and I'm a fit 10, 12, they're going to come after me, right? You need to understand your allure. You need to play into it. You need to work, practice, meditate. Get into your feminine energy, right? The second thing I want to talk about is being sensual. And when I think of being sensual, I think of pleasure. Pleasure. It's a it's a vibe. It's an atmosphere. It is where a man can come and rest. You are a safe place. You are a haven for his day. I'm thinking of sensuality as pleasure. Ladies, listen to me. 
when these men are going out here conquering the world and bringing home the bacon, you need to have a, a sensual spot for them. I'm not saying you have to do it all the time, but if your man's worked a long day, you know, fix them a bite to eat. You know, have the music low, have the lights low, you know, get some candles, you know, let him know when he comes in, baby, here's a beer, let me take your coat, let me cater to you. That is a sensual song. Let me do something for you. Let me massage your arms. Let me massage your back. It needs to be a sensual thing, right? Sensual, pleasure, because men don't live in the world of pleasure. Women do, so you need to bring him into your world. The next thing I think about is being soft. And when I say soft, I mean it's the touch, how you feel. For me, um, skin is a big deal. And men like skin. I'm not all tatted up. If you are, that's your business. But to me, it's like, why would you put a bumper sticker on a Ferrari? No, I'm not tatted up. I may have one or two, but they're hidden, but my skin is not covered in them, right? I am soft. I get out the shower, just fresh out the shower, and I rub myself down in an oil, and I just allow my skin to soak in it. That, to me, is soft. When a man touches me, he needs to feel the opposite. If a man is around men all day, he doesn't want to come home to a woman who's just as hard as a dude that he works with. No, you need to be soft. Your skin needs to be nice. Your hands need to be soft. Like, you have to have a soft voice. Um, and it really works well with alpha men. Soft, soft. Because he knows how he can deal with you. He can let his guard down. It's all about being sexual, right? Sexy bringing your sexy smell, sight, uh, visual invoking those senses, the reflection of your voice. It's about being sensual, you know, pleasure, bringing him into your world, allowing him to let his guard down. It's about being soft, your skin, your touch, your voice, how you interact with him, soft. These all invoke feminine energy. So I hope I helped you guys out today. And like I always say, love is life, life is love. You guys have an awesome day. Bye.